Thursday, everyone. We are at the trailhead at the start of segment 25. And we have taken a couple days off one just to rest for our zero, but also because there was some severe weather with the tropical storm and hurricane moving in in the east, we actually got a lot of severe weather up in the mountains with flash flood warning. So we came off the mountain for an extra day of rest, which actually really helped and helped with Remy's, you know, paw recovery, what we need to do. And I was able to get him some booties to cover the rest of the 75 miles of the Colorado Trail. But for today, segment 25 is 20.1 miles and a total of 3,799 feet of elevation gain. The weather today should clear up in the afternoon, a chance of scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon, but we should be okay um, in a high of 63 degrees. But anyways, we are gonna probably hike about 12 to 14 miles just for today and find camp. Um, there should be lots of water along this trail, so very excited about that. But anyways, here we go. So we are about three miles into the segment and so far it's been a slow and steady climb. Nothing too strenuous, which is really good just getting back into it. The cloud cover though is still here. So it's fairly humid and it can feel just slight misting slash sprinkles, but that's okay as long as it's not thundering and lightning, we should be okay. We're gonna stay along this saddle at 11.5 for a couple of miles before we start climbing again to about 12.5 and that'll be our peak for this segment and for the day so that's kind of the goal is to get over that peak without any thunderstorms and down to camp at about 12 to between 12 to 14 miles in where there's water and good camping anyways hiking on so just past two female hikers coming northbound and they said that there are sheep on the trail. I actually heard them from far away wondering when we we're gonna, if we we're gonna meet up with them and that the guard dogs are on alert. So we are keeping an eye out. It looks like there's one or two stranglers, not really a herd, but we'll see what happens <laughs> when you run into them on the trail. We made it through the sheep area with not too much of an issue. The guard dogs just, which are great Pyrenees, just come up and bark at you a couple of times, but you just keep on walking and tell the sheep to move out of your way. And hopefully they do, they make it through. But uneventful from my standpoint, so that's good. Anyways, hiking on. It's been raining for about, let's see, we're at 13, seven, six and a half miles, which is why I don't have any more footage, but seems to have stopped as we've 
lowered in elevation, we pretty much hiked up into a rain cloud. So that probably wasn't good. But now we're underneath tree cover. Um, we're at 13 and a half miles into the segment. So I think we're gonna make the 14th seven, which is the Cascade waterfall area, which would be nice. Um, and then not as many miles in the morning or not have to worry about making up the miles in the morning. So yeah, hiking in the rain, not fun. Remy definitely hates it. So I had to put him on a leash um, just to make sure he was still with me, not just stopping where he was at. And the camera has a little bit of fog in it just because of the humidity um, from the rain. But anyways, there wasn't, I would say, not that much to see up there. I think there's a couple of peaks, but because of the clouds, I couldn't really even, and rain, couldn't really even call them out. But anyways, we are on a descent and we'll just have one more little climb tomorrow morning before we reach the end of the segment. So just a mile and a half before we get to the waterfall and we can find a campsite. So hiking on, rain or shine. Shine on me. So we made it to the Cascade Creek area, which was our sort of stretch goal for mileage for today. Um, but definitely was able to get camp set up in time before it started to sort of sprinkle again. Got some water. Um, our clothes are hanging to dry in our tent. Turn the camera around and show you. There's the socks. Tanked up and my pants and sweatshirt are outside the door. but definitely want to make sure they're dry for tomorrow. And Remy's booties are hanging um, up to dry too as well, since it's got pretty wet. We don't want any irritation on his paws. So anyways, we are just probably gonna settle down. Um, even though I'm not worn out from a body standpoint, like I think just the rain and being cold and changing in dry clothes made me super tired. So we're probably gonna go to bed early um, and then wake up early and get a head start on tomorrow. So anyways. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We are just about to get our hike started and it's a happy Friday, or hopefully it'll be a happy Friday. It's a balmy 36 degrees outside, but hopefully we can get our bodies warmed up in the next couple of miles. The high today is supposed to just be 61, so it'll be a cool day today. And chance of rain, 8%, so it's kind of scattered throughout the afternoon today. We only have about six miles left of this segment, which is good until we reach Bolum Pass Road near Celebration Lake. Basically, it's just gonna be a slow and steady climb up to about 11,500 feet. We're at about 10.8, so it shouldn't be too bad over the next six miles. But anyways, we're looking forward to finishing the segment and moving on into the next. Here we go. So we're about three miles in for the day and 14, 17.7 in for the segment. The back half of this is definitely just a gentle, steady climb. You cross many little streams that have these, I don't know if they're calcified rocks, but they're these milky colored rocks. Um, but be sure that if you see some mossy dirt area right next to the stream, not to step in it. It could be just a little bit soft 
and you could just sink up to your knee in it. But hopefully if you do do that, not that I did that, that you have one foot still planted and you're able to get out and not get stuck. But anyways, been a nice hike this morning. The sun looks like it's pushing through some clouds. So we're gonna see some blue skies in a little bit, which we haven't seen in three days, which will be really good. But anyways, three more miles to the end of the segment and hiking on. way off that really tall peak right there. That's Engineer Mountain. There's actually a side trail um, from segment 25 that goes up there. It is about 12,900 feet. When you get into the Herm Hermosa Creek Wilderness Area, um, or the Hermosa Wilderness Area, you'll be able to see Grizzly Peak. And that sits about, shoot, 13,000, I wanna say, 13,7 maybe. And then San Miguel, wait, San Miguel Peak, way back there. And that's about the same height, 13,700. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it on the screen. And that beautiful peak in front of us is Hermosa Peak, and that sits at about 12,500 feet. Luckily, we don't have to climb it. All right, we are just reaching Bolum Pass Road and that's another 20.7 miles off of our 500 miles of fun in 2021. 